everyone you're welcome to today's video the project we are working on is a bio dress and i'm making use of silk velvet the fabric is kind of stretchy and is folded on fold four so what i'm marking out here is the nape to wrist measurement so this is the exact measurement that i want and next i'm marking out the neck width and the neck depth for both the front and back bodies so the neck width here that i'm taking out is four inches the, the neck depth for the back is 1.5 inches and the front is 6 inches so before you make the curve you take in 3 quarters of an inch so the neck curve will be near perfect now this is the front neckline So next I'm marking out the armhole measurement and I'm taking out 9.5 inches. So I'm inserting the quarter bust measurement of 10 inches plus half an inch is and one inch seam allowance now this is the curve this should be between seven and eight inches and you know the sleeve is going to be up to the wrist measurement so the next thing to do is to take the dress length and here is 58 inches And next we take out 2 inches for hem allowance. So whatever measurements we have here on the bust line, we are going to replicate that on the hem line, but this time times 2. So to give the hem line a sort of a flay look. So I took out 11.5 inches and another 11.5 inches so we're going to square a line to the hemline from the armhole area So at this side here we take up 2 inches and curve it to the front bodies just from the side. So just checking out these measurements here before I connect to the armhole. So here I'm trying to make that part not to be sharp. So first we cut out the neck, the back neck line. So we're going to open it and then cut out the front neckline. Now can you see? So the next thing is to cut out the facing. We're going to place the neckline on a piece of fabric and trace it and then we cut out the facing. So you can use a chalk to mark out, trace the neckline, and then cut out. Next we mark out 3 inches round this neckline.
So we're going to be notching on the back side so we know that side is going to be on the back neckline before stitching. I want it to have a sort of turnover. So I cut out a piece 5 inches width. I'm going to be sewing half inch in and then top stitch half inch on the right side of the sleeve. So it's going to look like this when you're done. So let's begin stitching. First I'm going to stitch the spacing and then attach to the neckline. And make sure you pin it so it's stable while you're stitching. Notch it when you're done stitching so it will lay perfectly and then turn all the seam allowance to the, to the facing and then top stitch on the facing. So next you pin it and then give it a press so you can hem it easily. Now we work on the sleeve. So the piece that I cut out is going to be, the right side is going to face the wrong side of the sleeve. So I'm stitching it in with 0 0.5 So next we are going to turn in all the side seams to the piece that I cut and then top stitch on it So we're going to face it now on the right side of the, of the sleeve and then fold in half an inch as well. Give it a press so it can be stable before you now stitch on it. So after doing that for both the sleeves, we're going to so the side seam now, from the sleeve, we are stitching down to the hemline. So when you are done stitching around that armpit area, you can give it a notch so it can lay perfectly. This is ready and I've gone ahead to give, I gave it a press and then hand stitch the facing and the hemline. So the next thing is to fix the paper stone. The paper stone is going to run from the mid or the center front of the dress to the hemline and just like you're seeing right now. So here's what you're going to do first. You're going to peel it off. So some stones are facing upward so we're going to use a tweezer to flip them over before we place it on the dress. So next we place on the fabric. It's kind of sticky, so you have to be patient.
and there we have it so the next thing is to do is to get two pieces of paper we're going to fix one underneath and then place one on on the paper stone and then we, before we begin pressing So we're going to do it step by step until it's all done. And then next we peel off the plastic. So we're going to fix this paper stone also on the neckline and on the sleeve. So here we're going to be creative. You're going to cut out and just be creative about it. It's also going to follow the same process. You're going to still use the paper to press on the paper stone, to place on the paper stone, sorry, before giving it a press. Now it's all done. This is how it should look. It depends on how you're going to be creative with yours. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.